This is episode 6 of the series on crazy nuclear rocket engines, where we will examine the nuclear light bulb, otherwise known as the gaseous core closed cycle engine. If you haven't watched it, please watch the introduction video now. Here's how we build our light bulb. We start with a bunch of very thin quartz tubes that wrap around in a circle. That is the outer wall of the light bulb, and it is cooled by running gas through it. Inside that is a layer of neon gas, injected so it will swirl around the inside of the chamber in a, you guessed it, in a vortex. And inside that is our fuel, uranium hexafluoride gas, with more neon inside of that. That gives you a very hot gas nuclear core that puts out a ridiculous amount of radiation, hence the light bulb term. Outside that goes a jacket of hydrogen propellant. Unfortunately, the hydrogen doesn't readily absorb the radiation that the light bulb puts out, so you need to add some tungsten to heat it up and transfer its heat to the hydrogen. The goal is to be able to run the core at temperatures up to 20,000 Kelvin. Here are two drawings that make it a bit clearer. The uranium hexafluoride fuel and hydrogen are injected from the left, and the hot hydrogen gas exits to the right. In the vehicle, you put seven of those bulbs together. Here's a scorecard for the nuclear light bulb. On the plus side, they can generate a decent specific impulse of around 2000, and the nuclear light bulb is a very bright idea. On the negative side, there's a lot of dependence on the power of the vortex to keep the fluorine contained. Fluorine eats everything. Here's a quote. Readily capable of detonation and explosive decomposition or explosive reaction at normal temperatures or pressure. Reacts violently with water. This is fluorine at 25,000 K. It's unbelievably reactive. These quartz containers are fragile and need lots of cooling or they will break. If you look at the fault tree, every scenario ends with rocket explodes. It gets a solid nine on the craziness score. If you enjoyed this video, please visit the closest lighthouse.